Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to another late night here on the East Coast. How y'all doing? Hopefully pretty good. So, heading back to RimWorld here. Sorry I missed yesterday. Uh, it, was, it was an interesting one. Um, Kaylin just got sick, basically. I don't know. <laughs> I don't really have too much more to say than that. But yeah, she got sick, and so I was just up with her. Gosh, about it. Um, that's it, though. Feeling pretty good myself today. Uh, I had a little bit of a nap earlier. Slept for, like, two hours, and then, like, apparently there was, like, this cat, like, screaming. Just screaming outside the house. No idea. Scared the shit out of our cat and Kaylin, but I didn't, uh... I don't know, I didn't like, quite hear it. I thought I heard it, but, you know, this is what it is. I'm going to have Mr. Grinch here go ahead and strip this person, because they did have body armor, and I like that. Let's see if there's body armor on any of these other guys. Nope. Nope. So, um, mood is quite high. However, there are a couple characters here who do not enjoy the whole eating people thing, and it sucks. I'm not sure how bad of a mood penalty we're going to take for them. Yeah. yeah. I think we're going to have to bury these corpses. People are getting a little upset about them. Unfortunate, but you know. Do what you do? I love how we still have all these bodies here. <clears throat> I forgot what I was doing last time. I mean, I'm sure if I give myself like two seconds, we'll figure it out. Okay, let's get some graves. Flip them up the right way. Okay, right, we were expanding out. We're, we're making more bedrooms, basically, and then we were replacing all the walls. Weird, they're so happy with life they ignore the fact they're eating people. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm tempted. Um, psychic waves swept over the landscape. Your columns are okay, but it seems many rats in the area have been driven insane. Uh, including this one. Space. I don't have a gun for you, Space Roth? No. Okay, well, you're a brawler, so you only like to in melee, and that's. That'd be the reason why, then. We could use grenades? No, no, we'll have Grizzillion go out and kill this rat. That'll be fine. Grizzillion's an okay shot. I mean, he's actually terrible, but the hunting rifle is kind of OP, so. Or is it? Or is it? It is. If you think it's not, it is. Don't worry about it. Hopefully we don't get attacked by too many more rats. Okay, we're expanding this. Um, we're actually working on air conditioning right now, which is super cool. So plenty of fuel in there. Nice. Um, so we'll set up air conditioning for this area. And then we're going to be... Yeah, we'll just focus on the things we're doing right now. We, we have a lot to do. we got to rebuild all these walls so we don't have people dig in and do things. Um... These are on Hall Plus, so in theory, that should get done first. Lily is pregnant. Is that our, like, the one dog just keeps getting pregnant, I think. I don't know who's, who's banging her. Or even is Lilia. Please tell me, oh, I thought that was going to be the elephant for a second. I was like, please let it be the elephant. But no. I don't even... Where? Where is... Oh, is this Lilia? Oh, yeah. So, yeah, it would just be Enrique. Enrique is just going around banging everything under the sun, which, fair enough, you know. Definitely one of Grizzillian's spawn. Is that one of the mad rats? Yes. Those two here. Let's see. They are quite angry for some reason. Squint woke up to pray at 3 in the morning. Is that normal for you, Squint? Uh, 
Did the rat just attack the elephant? Yes. That's interesting. Uh, training? Yeah, let's go ahead and train. Obedience would be good. Rescue and haul. Yeah, let's just train the everything. Um, okay, well, let's fire our LMG into this rat. A point blank. Okay, even my ferret is trying to shoot himself, apparently. You can't target the rat because it's, it's under him. It's interesting. Oh my god, he's getting wrecked. Where was the other rat? There was one, right? This one? Yeah. Yeah, let's go have Brazilian deal with that one as well. And you... Man, you got actually tore up by that, so go ahead and rest till healed. We'll get you patched up, which sucks. Oh well. Billion is on his way. Oh, 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 the rat found him, I think. Yeah. Alright. There you go, nice. Billion, you can now also go up and rest until healed, and then I forget, I believe Samsurai is our, our next best on the medicine. Yeah, that's not too bad. Why don't you go ahead and get these wounds before we get terrible things happen to us. What, are we getting attacked again or something? Yes. Is this risky? Yeah, probably. Ken! Oh my god, dodged a literal, well, I was gonna say a literal bullet, but it was a grenade, really. Hmm. Get my ferret's all patched up? Okay, you are... Um... Oh, free to get out, you can go back to your thing. You guys over here... It sucks having the, like... Micro this the way we are, but it's okay. He's already doctoring Brazilian, that's great. We're gonna wanna move these blocks actually, they're um, slowing everybody down in here. It's okay. I think we'll just put another stockpile for this stuff down here. I mean, eventually this is where we wanna expand, but. So maybe that's silly. Um. Put one over here to slow people getting in. I kind of like that, actually. Zone area, stockpile. Like this sort of a spot. And then go ahead and just put it to clear all chunks. Oh, um... Yeah, Chunks is fine. Nice. Things are going... Grazillion should be fine now. Yep. You are free to... do whatever you want. You guys still hasn't been patched up. It's Sam Sarai. Heal this guy. We, you know, we're not in a crazy rush. We're doing very good for research. So I think we'll be fine. And you are clear to go back to whatever you were doing. Which I think you're just cleaning, you guys. A cold snap? Um, is it going to lower? Because, like, it's really hot here. So a cold snap dropping things down to, like, 5 degrees Celsius is going to be okay. Shouldn't cost us any of our crops. And if it does, again, we got, like, literally 3,000 corn. I'm not worried. We have so much corn, in fact. Like, I'm I'm gonna get rid of these. Mm, I either get rid of them now or once we harvest them. Hey, cargo pods. Ooh, bunch of cobra flesh. Yes, please. 
That's interesting. Uh, a bunch of minor break risks because of what? Observed rotting corpse. Yeah, that's apparently a problem. I guess we could do something about that. Okay, everyone's hauling right there. Oh, hey. That's cool. Alright, same story it's up to you, bud. You gotta, you gotta bury these. No empty grave. Alright, you gotta build those. Uh, sign the constructing. We have another mad animal. It's a boomalope, of course. One of the most annoying animals. Let's go mad. He's going for eat my ferret. It's just a bit random. Um, okay, eat my ferret. Run over here. We'll have eat my ferret build all the graves. We just gotta deal with this boomalope problem. Okay, there we go. Sweet. Now, don't worry, we'll save you. Just make sure you put this fire out first. Mm. Other people would get in on this. Yeah, great, excellent. Nice, it worked out. Okay, nope. Let's go ahead and build these graves because people are really getting upset about that. Warm plant has died of the cold. Wow, it dropped to minus eleven. So you guys, you can now start, <clears throat> if you want, burying these corpses for us. We're going to temporarily, um, well, we don't have human meat set up on here anyway. So. Uh, Mr. Grinch, training elephant one. That's good, but why don't you haul some more corpses as well? I think we just have everybody um, just bury these people just so we get them out of the way. Because the, the mood buffs are a bit of an issue. That's the coldest it's ever gotten. Yeah, it's never never quite reached these levels before Brazilian. Yeah, we are going to need a lot of graves by the end of this if we don't start uh, butchering people. Of course we should do. I believe you guys is done. Uh, nope. Samsurai is done. Samsurai. Bury that. Mr. Grinch, bury that. And I think that's all the bodies for now. Looks good. Oh yeah, we still need to figure out what we're doing with this. Is an odd place. It, honestly, storage, I think, is the most likely. Like, we just need a lot more storage room. Yeah, you got, you got some problems. Who went into the days? Kent. That's yeah, fine. Because he saw a rotting corpse, and it was just too much for him. He's a bit of a baby. Oh. Hey, a bunch of people got the plague. The plague. How bad is the plague compared to, say, malaria, for example? Alright, you can get out of this bed. Um, alright, Grazilian. Well, I wonder if Grazilian got the plague and just sort of spread it. You know, as you do when you're Grazilian. Oh, and Trobo is the other one, so we're fine. Yeah, we, we should be able to fairly easily deal with this. Hypothermia? Uh, well... That's reasonable. I mean, he spent the whole day walking around outside and he's a nudist. So, I think, unfortunately, I know you do get a nice happiness buff for being a nudist, but for temporarily gonna have to put you on anything. You can always change it off after. So for the purpose of disease, we're gonna be using normal medicine or worse, just because I don't want to deal with that shit. Uh, 
fine. Trobo is fine. Though. We'll, he'll just get anything. All in. Kent, what happened to you? The hypothermia. Do we need? Do we need to treat that? Is that a treatable thing? It probably is, eh? Oh right, but you're still wandering around like an idiot. So <laughs> we didn't use the nice medicine on you guys. Only on Grazilian. That's funny. Uh, it's gonna be a bit tough, actually. They started with it quite high. How high does Trobo have it here? Forty-nine percent. I mean, what's happening? What? It's a social fight? Eat my ferret and Spessaroth. Shitting on each other, cracking each other up. It's not great. Uh, Mr. Grinch is still sleeping at twelve, which is super random. Um, I have no idea why. Oh my god, we lost all the crops. I mean, thankfully, yeah, we have tons of plants and food and stuff set aside. I have no idea why it dropped into minus 9 Celsius. It's insta-killed everything, but okay. And minus 9 Celsius, would that be enough to kill corn? <laughs> Not if it happened for a day. Either way. Holy crap, yeah. Yeah, we'll live though, we'll live. Some limestone. We'll stay inside for now. Keep it cozy. Yeah, I'm making those out of limestone. I don't exactly mind if we change it, but look a little crappy. Um, Ken at any point do you wanna like lay down so we can use doctoring on you? Mm. Nope, you just wanna be insane. Okay. And you ate raw food. Well, why did you eat raw food? Because our cook is being an idiot. Okay. So that's another character we now can't control. Reasonable. Reasonable. Uh, I'm gonna get base Roth here to start cooking. Because people are stupid. Okay! Kent finally realized he's an idiot and is gonna die. Um, what were you doing? Okay, you're rescuing him automatically. What's Ferret doing here? Repairing the traps. That's good. Don't worry, we're gonna rescue him. Get a doctor. Um, yeah, we'll use real medicine on Kent as well. Sam Sarai, who's our best doctor. As far as I know, uh, I think Fagwin might also be a pretty good doctor. Five. Not good enough that I'm gonna trust him to do it. We'll just tank our research for a little bit. I just want to play it safe, you know? We... Oh, nice. Treating our frostbite pretty good there. Was it cold in the cave? It's only minus five in here. I think that's reasonable. 2.1 hours, we gotta reapply all the, um, the medicine, unfortunately. Technically, we should really treat these bruises and stuff. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna have, we're just gonna cook a couple more meals first. That's an issue right now. Yeah, great. Alright, so you my favorite, you are clear to go back to stuff. Treat the frostbite again. Okay, we're doing the next round of treating all the plague. Thank Yep. I don't know if we can save this guy. Need warm clothes. Mr. Grinch. Yeah, I guess actually we, we have clothing that helps keep us uh, cool. Not warm. Are we all gonna die from the plague? Brazilian has a good chance of living. 
But this plague started really high. Uh, I don't know if we can do anything about that. Honestly. What do we get? Eat my ferret is now wandering because it's cold. Sure. Well, I guess what we can do as a temporary measure is... See, this is, this is again, part of the frustrating part of the thing, is um, Eat My Ferret is in a daze. So instead of dealing with the fact he's staying outside and freezing, which is what pissed him off, he's just going to stay there and die. But nothing I can do about that, unfortunately. Um, temperature. Build some campfire. Oh! We have access to heaters? Oh, that's neat. I didn't think we would. Um, it's, hmm. let's just build some campfires for now, though, honestly. These rooms. Yeah, right, that'll be fine. Squint, what are you doing? Resting? No, unfortunately not, my friend. Not assigned to constructing. I think we only had Grizzillion and Eat My Ferret on Construct, um, as well as Space Roth, which he should be fine. He's treated up now, right? Yeah. Cool. Get these going. These are going to be a bit of an issue. Nice. It's actually going to make the place quite hot. Consuming Cobra flesh. Right on. And we need, to, again, to have you cook. Honestly, I think we're going to have him just stay cooking through the whole night. I wonder if the um, the plague is healing slower because they're not heated? I don't know if the game's that clever or not. Uh, Space Roth just jumped in bed with Grizzillion. That's cute. We can sleep tomorrow, my friend. Sleep tomorrow. Uh, we need this one as well. We have tons of wood, so there's no issue doing this. Okay, we need to refuel the generator. You guys is starving. Uh, we will get right on that, actually. Stove. Oh, Kent is back. Excellent. Oh, no. No, he's not. He still has hypothermia. Um, he's still not wearing clothes. We did assign that to him. See if we can figure out how to deal with that. Wait, Kent got back up? Okay, it's hypothermia is down to shivering. So we do have some new frostbite with him. Um, Kent was a brawler? No. And the LMG here. I think he had the rifle though. So were you a good shooter? Okay, pretty good. Let him eat some raw corn. Honestly, raw corn shouldn't give a, a mood debuff. But. Okay, you rest up here. We'll get some doctoring going on. We still have tons of medicine and stuff. Brazilian. How's your new plague thing going? Okay, no, I think we are going to be able to save them here. Yeah, it looks like we'll be fine. Using the better... The better medicine seems to have definitely really helped. Which makes sense. Yeah, you are schmeared. Uh, actually, I mean, how... Uh, yeah, you, you're doing okay, I suppose. You're just wandering around. A little dumb, but... Survive. Gotta cook those meals, though. Okay, Kent is back up and good. We have enough of these, um... Hopefully, campfires. I should have done it earlier, I just didn't think of it. Makes a lot of sense. So he's back to that. Space Roth is back to letting us do things, which is excellent. Got our nice little limestone walls going here. Major break risk. Grizzillion, is it because he's starving? No. Mr. Grinch is starving. We'll go eat then, dum dum. Alright, he's in a daze. We can't control him. Yeah. Then break risk because of what? You're very joy deprived. Well, I mean, you've been in bed because you're dying. You're hungry and you ate raw food recently. 
Okay, well, that's gonna have some of those things fixed, I think, right? Yay! Finished air conditioning. Build air conditions to cool rooms in the heat, or to keep freezers. Air conditions. I think they meet air conditioners, but that's okay. Uh, solar panels, definitely gonna be next up on our list here. I think so. I think we get solar panels and just... On, we, we have, and you know what, look, we have enough wood right now, and we're not using that much power. But we will be using a lot of power when we start dealing with the uh, the summer again. I still think drug production is overall going to be the way we want to head. Probably get brewing as well. Uh, no, someone said brewing doesn't work right, actually, so probably not. But, um... This is gonna make like food basically a non-issue for us. Oh, we have wind turbines. Oh, oh, I didn't realize. Uh, that's actually excellent because we have so many fields. It's cool. Okay, well, let's get there and here. I like that. Eventually, I'm gonna. Well, I could always face it this way. Sure. We have like we have tons of steel and stuff. I kind of like this. So we've been doing so much mining. Sorry about that, guys. My, my. I don't know. I just started stuttering pretty bad there. It's funny. Um. So this is gonna take up a little bit of our crop room, unfortunately. I think. Do I even need it there? Hmm. Like this might count. I think that actually might be fine. Yeah. That's gonna be alright. Do that. Don't need that piece. And then we just go straight up. Although, we're... I think people get like a, a mood penalty looking at batteries. I think they think it's ugly. So, it would be more clever for me to run this up through the wall. I think. Hmm. Good morning, Pernodi. Yeah, I think it's going to be smarter to move it up through the wall. Uh, we could always build walls along like this to hide the cables. It's an option, perhaps. I don't know. I don't know the best way of doing this. I think maybe like this. Straight up. We can just have a wall go straight up here at some point. That'll deal with a lot of the issue. Might be something we look into. At some point I want these hauled. No, not the power conduits. Yeah. Nice. Well, it looks like everyone's sort of getting back to normal. Spencer, you, you're definitely you're good, pal. You can go do things now. Um, brawler, right? Still don't have one of those things. Got some gnads. I wonder if grenade. You could definitely melee with grenades. Probably suboptimal, but it's definitely a thing you can do. Oh no, you're you're my mining guy. Sorry, dude. Yeah, just get back to doing that. Zillion, how you doing? Plague, almost kicked it. Unigaz, almost kicked it. I mean, it's a little bit close for you though. And it looks like even Trobo may survive this, which is nice. Okay, Mr. Grinch no longer... Extreme break risk, huh? Oh, you. So what's wrong? You're starving. Well, you did that to yourself, and you know you did. And before he breaks again, before doing things. Go eat a damn meal. I think... So it's got hot again. 
So we're going to go back to having Kent um, actually not wearing clothes, because it makes him a lot happier, so. Kent, Kent, Kent. Am I missing? There he is. I don't know why he is on the bottom again. Probably because we lost control of him or something? That's right. It was the rats. They went mad and had the plague. Could be. Could be. We did send you out to fight them. And then you went and had sex with everybody. And Well, there you go. Why are you back sleeping? Okay, I'll give it to you. Uh, Mr. Grinch. No, dude, don't sleep. I told you to eat. Oh, no, you were tired. My baby. My dang. Totally joy deprived. Um. We have a chess table here. Alright, what else can we build? A, a billiards table? We could. We can't build one right now because all our, our plants have died. But I mean, we could have built a billiard stable. That might be something we do in the future. I guess we get a few more horseshoe pins around. Um, right in here. Looks good. Another chest table, maybe. I think I'll be fine for now. Because we do have you on mandatory joy. Yeah, everyone gets joy when they wake up, which is about 6 in the morning, right? Yes, that's excellent. Wake up, eat. Do some, do some joy stuff. Caravan request. Okay. Special trade request. They would like to purchase... 681 agave fruit. They will offer an animal's neuro trainer. Uh, no. I don't even know where to get agave fruit. Trobo. Yeah, we've well, got the plague. So, there's that. Ah, I need my ferrets back under our control. Thank frickety frack. No, he collapsed because he's tired. Couldn't even make it to a bed. What a winner. I really do think, though, the idea is going to be turning this into more storage and just, again, we need well, we need a lot. We've got three, six, nine people now. So this is only six. Um, technically, that's going to be seven prisoner room. So we're going to need some more. Which is fine, that's definitely something we can do if we have the materials. Brazilian, are you just laying around sleeping? You dumbass. Do we have this be- Oh! Do we have this be the ventilation? Walkway. Hang on. I want to think. Um, so, it's going to be something like this for sure. We've got our 7x7 seven seven room. Just nice and cozy. Might be something like that. Our other 7x7. Seven seven. So, question. Um, what I like to do is I like to run a ventilation, a ventilation shift. Uh, shift them. Man, I don't know why my brain isn't working. Could be the two hours sleep. Could be a lot of things. But I like to run a ventilation system. I just I just think it's really cool. Like It's one of my favorite mechanics in this game. Uh, I do think like the air and stuff is really well done. So, if we were to do that, let's say we have it run in behind here. This lets us have uh, another set of rooms would be like here, for example, um, which we will actually need as well. So let's go ahead and just do it that way, and we will figure out what we like. So do you use the ventilation as the hallway is the number one question I always ask myself. I normally don't. I normally try and have it be separate. In this case, though... Normally what I would do is there would be a, a space between these. I didn't put one in here because I was saving space in the mountain. And I think because I didn't... I think it's going to be fine to use the vent system as a hallway. I don't know how much that's going to slow people running through it. 
but I think that will be fine overall. I think if we do something like this, um, I think we can use wooden doors in door. I don't think it's going to matter at all. So if we do something like this, I mean, in theory, I'm going to want to do something like that. Because that, this is how we keep extending it. Although the geothermal's there. Hmm, something to think about. So this will be our ventilation and hallway. We have another room here. Which is going to be... Like, yay. Then... have this room here. We already have a door there. Excellent. I'm going to want this block to not be there. I think that's my fault, though. I think I zoned it, so we can delete the zone right there. Oh, no, it's not. So we can tile all these. Uh, that lets us have a hallway down to the fridge, which is actually it's quite nice as well. Uh, and then, yeah, then we'll pump the hot air out the back here. I like that. I think that's going to be fine. Doing it this way. This is going to be ju just since... Um, what are we killing here? A cotton. That's fine. So we currently have one cotton. Gonna want another one. We have heel root, corn, corn, heel root. Uh, what are, I'm just gonna rearrange these right now, just so I know what I'm dealing with. I want three corn. We want the heel root for sure. We want cotton. I'm gonna have a second cotton because that's eventually what I want. Okay. The heel root. So two heel root. That's fine. We got lots ish. Two cotton. I think three corn is going to be sufficient for quite some time, so I'm going to grab another heel root there. We got the two smoke leaf. Excellent. And then we will expand down to here with um, two more for the advanced drugs once we get there. Like Devil Strand or whatever the fuck. I don't even know what they are. I think that's going to be good though. Then this is great. Um, so since I'm building wooden doors here. I do already want to have that hallway ready, I think. Just do this. I think that just makes it nice and easy. It's self-contained. Looks good. And we're also going to be wanting to look into visitor rooms. So for the purposes of visitor rooms, I was thinking about that actually. We have this whole area here. I don't think the AI is going to, like, if I build uh, down here and use it for visitor rooms. I don't think a raid will attack it. So I think the plan is visitor rooms down here. We actually extend the base over here though. This will be like the base proper. Gives us a little bit more room for, you know, growing um, and some other structures, but more importantly, we get our second geothermal. But then down here is just gonna be like a hotel. I think it's gonna be a fun little project. But not right now. Right now we, you know, deal with the basics. We still have to get... Oh, colonists are gathering to celebrate Grazilian and Fagun's marriage. Oh, that's beautiful. Right here, in the middle... This was supposed to be a beautiful scene with crops everywhere. Um, but you know. Oh, who's our grower? Mr. Grinch. I guess you are at the marriage ceremony. Oh, look at that, guys. That's just beautiful. Let's get, get the old steam screenshot treatment, huh? Oh, that's lovely. You're married now. Yeah. I wonder if that will um, remove some of the pain you suffer from your ex-lover dying. No. Well, yeah, you're in the honeymoon fit. Whoa! A whole year of plus 50 mood? Damn, son. That's pretty good. It's quite reasonable, actually. Can't complain about it. Uh, like that. Sweet. What are you guys doing now, though? Oh, you're just relaxing socially. That's fine. We're not trying to survive or live or do anything, really. Ultimately, I'm not too concerned. Three, six, yeah, that's right. 
Nice. Back to business as usual. Unigaz, though, just watching a sunset, holding her frag grenades. She's a little bit insane. But we let her be. Minor break risk for Itamai Farad. Nice. Need batteries. Oh yeah, true. Yes. That is a very smart game. Uh, we don't know how to make batteries. Uh, gonna have to change drug production to batteries. That'll be okay though. Good, we're starting to replant our crops. We just need to finish digging all this stuff here. That's going to be happening tomorrow, unfortunately, because our... Not, I'm not leaving. I was just, just messing with you. Uh, but, like, tomorrow in the game, um, as our little guys have to do all their things, eat my ferrets off, making more blocks for us, which is great. Uh, how many do we have? 880. What's that got his stat up to, actually? His construction's getting up there, yeah. Okay. I'm really tempted to... Where is he here? Yeah, his craft is on number one. Um, I'm tempted to bop that down to number two, because I think for now we have enough. I don't think he needs to keep doing that forever. So he'll help with building these walls, and then he's going to help uh, with the mining, which will be good. Nice, and we're cleaning things up right away, which is excellent. Not sure how I want to do this here. This is technically just a hallway. Honestly, it's storage, so I may as well extend it. Hard to say, though. Well, we need... We actually... Um, we need this mind as well. Because I need a real wall here. So that I can bring the power up into the base. Yeah, that's going to be what it is. At some point, we're going to like just tear this whole thing down. Just have more room. We'll reconfigure some stuff. But for right now, we're good. Uh, I think I'm just going to bring this across for now. Well, this actually goes up, so that goes there. That's what we do. My ferret failed while constructing. God damn it. Spent all that time making sure that I had someone that could. It derped it up. I think we're gonna get, uh, it's getting pretty late. We're gonna get Grizzlion starting on the new beds because if they're not good, um, I'm just gonna be like, having them like rebuild them over and over. I was gonna say, I normally have it a little further from the door. Okay, something like this, I think. Beds are the best beds. Yeah, you got a lot of really good ones, actually. We're going to be eventually replacing all of these. Wait, what? Scroll. How do I make this scroll? What the shit game? There's, uh, I gotta click this. Okay, so 115% rest effectiveness and immunity gain speed factor. I was going to say, that doesn't change. Room 10 infection chance factor. 50%. 55%. Why are some of these rooms... That's weird. Is it because they're cleaner? I don't know. That's interesting, though. 
Maybe you need cleaner floors. That makes sense. So the hospital room, which is going to be this room here. What would we use for a cleaner floor? Tile, maybe. Like a metal tile. Sterile tile, right there. It's steel and silver, it's a lot of silver. That's very cool, though. Very cool. Uh, we do have a lot of money right now. Might be something we look into. Look, Sam's right. Some, somebody just tear this down. Who's doing it? Squint? Yeah, you, shit. Space Raw? Take that apart. I want Sam Sarai doing all this stuff here. Let's see. As soon as Grizzlian wakes up, bam. I'll run down here, do that. I love it when the elephant sleeps in the bed. Always gets me. Uh, well, he's got obedience training, which is excellent. His master is Mr. Grinch. That's cool. Nice, we got this power online. I mean, without batteries, it's not, like, really online, but it's good enough. Um, yeah, I'm surprised I didn't queue this up yet. But well, we don't have batteries, so there's no point. Corn lasts for a billion years anyway. Brazilian is starving because he fell asleep in between two walls. Can he get out? No. Can they not do corners? Is that a thing? I might have to do this. I may never be able to get to that unless I deconstruct this, sadly. That's what we're going to have to do. Um, I think we have to dig Grizzlian out of here because he got stuck like a bit of an idiot. That's insane. Why is, it, why is that an option? Yeah, no, that's what happened. Okay. Well, I wondered why Grizzlian wasn't doing much. Um, who's our cook? Ken. Okay, you are cooking simple meals. Yeah, we need like thousands of those, dude. Sewing area, billion. Playing horseshoes. Yeah, that's fine. You can play horseshoes. Honestly, your mood's gonna be high enough. You don't need it. You don't need the joy. Get in here, make me some bids. What did you make? Excellent. I'm done. That's good. Get more. We need all our beds to be excellent beds. That's a good bed. That's garbage. Get rid of it. It's so funny, too. It's like, good bed? Just, no. It's not worth my time. Excellent beds mean we sleep better. Superior? That's fine. I'm fine with superior. I think that's reasonable. Superior? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, eventually, is excellent better than superior? I don't know. You cook it all? Hey, Ken, how you doing, man? Alright, so we got superior here. This one's shit. Let's get rid of it. That one's shit. Let's get rid of it. Shit. Uh, that one's good. Good. Excellent. Good. Alright. As long as we can get all these beds up before... No, no, Grizzlian. Unfortunately, my man. Let's get doing the beds first. That one. That one. I think at this point, it's really unlikely Grizzlian's going to make a terrible bed. So I think we just deconstruct them all, and then we have him um, just build them, and then tomorrow we'll have him replace any. Because it's probably going to be a bit late by the time he's done that, since I do have to manually tell him to do bed, 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 bed. Is um, There's no way of setting like a higher priority for that in the game. Which I don't mind, honestly. I think that would be a bit unrealistic. It would be cool, but again, it's, it's a bit unrealistic. Uh, there's going to be a wall there. So, yay. Yay. So, how this is going to work, well, that needs to, that needs to die. So, we'll just wait for that to die. Oh, that's what he's doing! Do you remember how I complained for like 10,000 years that um, the cook would never refill the fire? That's all Kent is doing now. He's like, you know what? 
It's hot. How about we all die all the time? No, no, Ken, we, we built these fires to survive because your naked ass couldn't handle the heat. Remember that? It was an interesting time we went through together. We gotta get these beds ready before nightfall. Want to sleep? A superior, I like it. Superior, superior. Nice. As a Canadian, I'm always happy to see Lake Superior represented in beds. Complete the fifth. <laughs> Fair. It's reasonable. Good. Oh, billion. Good? Oh my god. Like, how? How are you making good? You're 16 in construction, that's all you do. Yeah, Spear, excellent. Good. That's fine. Do we have the hospital in here? Yeah, because this is going to be... This will just be medicine storage, actually. Um, It's probably useful to have food here as well. Alright, we can do that. Go ahead and deconstruct that for me. And deconstruct that. And reinstall this bed. It's down one. And deconstruct. Hey, Grisillion, we're not done yet. We need a couple more beds. We need you, we need... I can't build that yet, unfortunately. Cut pl oh, do you have to cut it to deconstruct it? But, no, I want the whole thing go- oh, really, that's interesting. Oh, you can choose what the plan, what's the difference? So, Rose... Daylily. Daylily doesn't last as long. Beauty, 18. Beauty, 14. Okay, Daylily's just better. But it doesn't last as long. Gotcha. Hold this for me, man. Oh, Gazillion's gonna be working all through the night, unfortunately. That'll be fine. Where are you going? What the fuck? That was a really random thing to do, my man. Okay. Okay. I just need Space Rock to wake up and then we can... Build that. Whoa, Space Roth is female? This whole time I thought it was a dude. Oh, it's neat. Okay, we need to strike all that stuff there. We can all, yeah, let's read what Grizzlian's new art piece was. Sam Sarai's purple. This furniture is engraved with an image of an abstract, abstracted depiction of patience. Oh, sounds like me. The work suggests the concept of hope. You squint your eyes, the square composition of the image reveals the outline of an elephant seal. I don't really want to know. So let's let's watch the average day of Ken. He's cooking some meals. Yeah, we need those. You guys, how good are you at cooking? You're shit. Ah, uh, you are shit, but. I think we're going to set up another cooking station. I like the idea of that. This is a fucking mess. Look at this. Just get out of my life. Get out of here. I don't even want to think about these. I, I just it, The memory of them haunts me. Yeah, uh, no more relaxing, my friend. Need that one built. Oh. Proactive. And this one, please. And 
this one, please. Nice. Okay, now we can do that. Now we can set this room up the way I want it to be set up. Which is going to be a bunch of double beds. It's fucking day, Lily. Wait, can I? I don't know. Okay, okay. I can get, get the thing under it. I don't have to cut it. Nice. Makes it easy. Well, let's get Grizzly in doing it. I don't really care if we disturb his sleep because he's so happy about the whole honeymoon thing. You're just building beds, Grizzly. That's that's your job. This wall first, actually. Nice. Um, still gotta take all these fires down at some point. Is that a good bed? Brazilian. Oh, Talked about good beds before. Oh my god, eat my ferret built a bed. Okay, we're, let's cancel this. We'll let that slide. We'll just have Brazilian. Uh, yeah. I really want to get this room done, actually, Brazilian. I'm going to be honest with you. So we're going to deconstruct this, and that, and this, and then we need to build a proper... This will be the new kitchen. Uh, not kitchen, but um, dining room. I think that sounds good to me. Let's go ahead and do the do, which is smooth the floor? Yeah, we can just smooth the floor here. It makes people happy as shit. I like that. We smooth the floor, and then we just build uh, walls for that. Yeah. Uh, this needs to be mined, actually. Can you mine that real quick? Next, dude. Oh, yeah, I forgot how shitty the mining is. Like, you can't just tell someone to do mining. It's a bit, a bit weird. It's nighttime, alright. We've got to hurry up a little bit here, finish our plans. We're not too far off getting there. Yeah. Zillion, get this guy done. Was that superior? Excellent. Deconstruct this stuff. Thankfully you should be able to deconstruct pretty quick. Now people are gonna have a bit of a sadness um, for tomorrow because they're not gonna have anywhere currently to eat their food. Uh, oh, no, no, no. Right, I need this. No, I can actually just deconstruct that door and build it here. That's going to make that a lot easier for me. And we need the corner pieces done first. If you could do like Brazil. Be excellent. Corner pieces first. Those should be sufficient then. And then yeah, so we're gonna go furniture, we're gonna get ourselves a nice long bed. Hey, we got visitors, that's cool. A long table here. Uh like so. Yeah, I mean, we could put it here. I think they can walk over. Um, we'll get a long table and a short table. So we got options. This will just be a corner table. I think corner tables look nice. Obviously, you're not maximizing your space. Um, but, you know. At some point, we're also going to need Grizzlian to... We're gonna, at some point, we mine this whole thing out. Yeah, there's no reason not to queue that up. It's just, it's in the way. It's clunky. Not exactly what we need. Replace this wall. Okay, so. This is what I love, man. I love this part, like the, like the Dwarf Fortress thing, when you're just like queuing up everything. You're like, yeah, I'm building all the stuff. It feels good. It feels great. You know, I just love like planning where things go. Going to, I think we do wood floor. I mean, we could do like slate tile. 
But no, I think I think wood floor is gonna be uh, not in here because here's got the nice tile. So for these rooms and that and this. At some point, we'll have to floor this room as well, I guess. We're also going to need this uh, walled off. We're not going to need the fuel generator forever. Uh, I'm going to leave it up for now, though. So, uh, do we have enough beds? We have two, four, six, eight. 10. So we actually can, um, while we're here, I'm gonna, how many guests do we have? Three, four. Let's give them some of our, our nice rooms for now. You know, I still haven't got rid of these campfires. There we go. Oh my God. Apparently, yeah, it was like 30 degrees indoors and like 28 outdoors. Like, that's a bit silly. I know, guys. It's, it's going to take me a little bit to get this looking nice, so just relax. You came at a transitional period in my life. I know, the batteries. We are working on those. So, what I'm thinking... Um, What I want to do, I want to deconstruct this door actually, and I want the door here. Makes it a lot easier for people to just run through everything, uh, and also doesn't look uh, like quite as silly. It's going to look a little silly. The chairs there, so that'll be fine. And someone can deconstruct this door as well because it looks quite dorky. Superior table. Nice. That's what we need. And yeah, at some point we are going to have to go back and like micro all these. Oh, the chair had art on it. Oh, I think we looked at this one though. Yes, we did. Yeah. Because like they, people are happier on better chairs. I don't know. Superior. Good, good, good. Masterwork. Brazilian. Nice. Brazilian's gray. The furniture is engraved with the depiction of Gerard Grazilian Camino walking down the aisle with Mesha Fagwin Aldemar. Aww. All the others look on solemnly. Brazilian is a near mirror image of Fagwin. Really? It's kind of weird. It's like fucking your own clone. You could, but should you? Probably, honestly, once in a lifetime. Subjects are in front of a tree while the geometric style of the central scene clashes with the Romanesque depiction of the background. Hmm. Well, that's beautiful. What do we see? Oh, we got batteries done. Excellent. Let's get back learning drugs, probably. Drugs? Something I want more than drugs. Not, not really. I like drugs. Solid. I have a lot of use for it. Oh, they have things to trade, perhaps. That's nice. I hope they like it here. Ah, uh, yeah, see, look, this is already, already just so much better. Skate pod. Okay, that worries me. How good are you? Okay, can't do dumb labor or firefighting. Trigger happy pyromania. They're pretty good at research. It's, honestly, normally I wouldn't rescue this person. We do have, like, a fair number of people already. And they don't do firefighting or dumb labor. But. That's another doctor. Which is something we're actually really low on. If you look down our list here. Now they don't have. Um, sadly. Like the, the fire for it. Intellectual's nice. Does that mean Sam Sarai can. 
not research sometimes. And we can always have two people research eventually. Um, I think we do it. We're going to send Grizzlian out to rescue her. Now, she may not join us. We're not going to capture her. That's okay. Oh, wow. There's a lot more of them than I realized. I'm not sure who we trade with here, actually. Uh, yeah. Why don't you come deconstruct all this for me? Let's make this a medical bed. That's the plan. He's rescuing her, nice. At some point, we're gonna want to really defend this hospital. Kind of in a scary spot. Like we want to like build more wall here to super defend it. But that's okay. So we actually want. Can I select somewhere? Good enough. We want these hauled like super right away uh, as well. Nice. Looking good. I do feel somewhat bad. Oh, we want that going as well. Eat my ferret. What are you up to? Hauling limestone chunks. That's good. I did want those gone. Um, I just want that built super quick as well. And space... I know, you're going to bed. I just want this deconstructed right now so we can clean this room up. Can I put um, a plant in a room? Uh, like a hospital room, or do I just need to be like completely sterile, like currently? I don't know. Eat my fair is a minor break risk. What's up, buddy? Tired? Slept in the cold? Slept outside? Yeah, we're we're working on that. Don't worry. It just takes time. There's a lot to be said for building this out of wood. Just making it uniform. And then we wouldn't need to smooth the floor either. Uh, which is something. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, I think smoothing the floor is going to be better overall for beauty. But it is what it is. I would rather just keep like uh, a more uniform look. I think. And it does build like a lot quicker. Which is nice. This is all good. And then that'll sort of be like the, you know, easy way of telling where where the difference is between the mountain home and where everything else is. Okay. Everybody's sleeping. That's nice. Who was our trade guy? I'm actually going to wake Grizzlian up. I think he's our social, right? Yeah. We're going to do a little bit of trading here. I'm curious. And again, I don't need to worry about rest with Grizzlian because he's so happy right now. Okay, I can buy components for like way too much. Not interested. Um, I can sell cloth for a fair amount, which is nice. Uh, I can buy medicine, which we're going to do. Smoke leaf joints. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be producing those at some point. I wish you could like tear these apart and like get the pieces back for them. Let's go ahead and sell all our crappy clothing. Stuff we're not going to be using. So it gets out of all our stockpiles. Because some of it's worth a little bit of money, which is nice. But... Whoa, that cloth duster's worth a shitload. Yeah, sell that. Okay. Steel advanced helmet, we're going to keep that one. Uh, we're going to keep all of these, because they're good. Sell the ch chinchilla ones and the human leather. Yeah, nice. Okay. Well, we're making making a good amount of money. And we're getting some medicine. That's it? Yeah. Oh, well. That's fine. Works for me. I was 
wrong? Oh, okay, that's a marriage spot, nice. Nice, we're finally finishing these rooms up. Super exciting. Yeah, and we are gonna have to basically, yeah, schedule all these chunks to get hauled. All chunks everywhere. That's okay. Because they really shit up the rooms. Uh, we need these hauled as well. And let's start replacing this floor with the, the sterile tile. So we do have a lot of silver now. Wow! 840 silver. Like, that is a little more expensive than I was expecting. That's probably what we need, right? Hmm. Is there a better tile I could use that's a little less expensive? So, flagstone... I was just curious, okay, what's the difference here? If we look at flagstone, roughly cut stone tiles, not super pretty, but they make good services for roads and outdoor walkways. So, presumably, you walk faster on them? Versus tile. Carefully cut stone, the castle looks... Pretty to look at, but they take a long time to lay. Let's see. Uh, work to build 19. Doesn't say how fast you move on them, actually. They only have a beauty of one. These don't have a beauty. If we look at something like concrete, so beauty minus one. Okay, wood floor. No beauty. Oh, so eventually we're going to want to tile everything for the beauty bonus, but that's okay. Sterile tile. Cleanliness. Oh, okay. That's what I'm looking for. 0.6. What about just a metal tile? No, no cleanliness. Silver? Oh. Aved. No. Interesting. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, what I do know, though, is we can build batteries now. And we should. So, batteries are quite ugly, as I recall. People aren't a fan of them. We should put them sort of off. In our own area. There's... Some temptation to build it over. What the fuck? These potatoes. Just impressed they survived, I'll be honest. So if we build it, in, well, we might want to extend that. I'm not sure. We could put them here. Because we're going to be getting rid of the fuel generator at some point. Um... I think that may be what we do. We get rid of the wooden walls and we build our batteries here. Can we reinstall this? No. We can build a copy. Yeah. Um. I don't know, because I do actually... I like that there as well. We could put batteries just sort of behind it. How many do we need, really? Yeah, that might be what he's doing. Skate pod. Okay, what's wrong, game? Why are we throwing people at me? Super intellectual, super... Oh, fuck. This person's really good, actually. Slothful kind of sucks, but everything else... Well, go... Um... Okay, one. Go rescue them. I like landing in the same spot. See what happened here? A raid. Ooh. We may not be able to save this girl. She's really good, though. I'd like to. Okay, change of plan. Uh, Space Roth is going to do it because he's a brawler. We don't have a weapon for him anyway. I think they said they're going to take time to plan, so... 
In the meantime, uh, this is awkward. Let's get everybody... Everybody ready. Okay, they're coming from over here. They're probably just gonna, like, blow through this, right? Where are they? Up here? So many of them, my god. Okay, thankfully they just got throwing spears, though. Bows and arrows and shit? Oh, they're just like a tribe. This isn't going to be too bad. They are coming right away, or they're preparing, I guess? I don't know. Uh, I think we open these doors to let them in. And then we can just, we can just stand here. Because again, like, we have the huge advantage in a fight. Because we have, like, gun. You know? Guns are pretty good. Let's queue everybody up so I can remember where they go. This is pump shotgun. It's pretty good. There. We got you going. We got you going. Spear goes here. Brazilian. Uh, no path? What's wrong with you? Oh, what the shit, guys? Like, how do you... Hmm. I guess. Okay. Uh, you two. To get in here, though. Alright, we're ready. We got our attack. Um, elephant. Which <laughs> I love it. Yeah, there is another person we could trade with here. Um... Okay, Grazilian, I know this is, like, important, but I'm curious. Or did we trade with this guy already? Uh, yeah, we did. Okay. There we go. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna run up here and we're going to hold open And then we're going to run back. I think they should be like, Wait a minute. This is open. Oh, they'll run in this way too. Ah, uh, that's fine. Grazilian? You coming? Okay. Yeah, see? The, the AIs now realize this is pretty good. They're going to have a... Sinbad's been stabbed, stabbed to death? Oh, dog. Okay. That's fine. They're going to have a lot of fun with this. Um, this would have been a really good spot to hold as well, but it's okay. We'll, we'll take a couple out here. Oh, they're gonna kill my... Kill the elephant. Wait, did, didn't I train it for obedience? Yeah. How do I... I do want to save it. Elephant's pretty cool. A lot of them out there, though. Alright, well... Do we go take them out? Split the group a little? Right, let's grab our shotgun. Let's go save the elephant. So we got a good spot, good spot to fight. Uh, Squint really got fucked up there. Holy shit. That stab like nearly killed him. Bit unlucky. Go rest up. Oh, he can't get through these people. Yeah. Alright, come on. Pull him in, pull him in. Squint. No, 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 no. Coming in. Oh shit. Like he. Hmm. I don't think Squint was any good, really. No. I don't mind losing him, really. At the same time, like, it sucks that he's gonna die because he's an idiot. Like, do you know what I mean? Nice. That works out. 
They've decided to kidnap who they can and leave. They can't kidnap anyone. We got our, we got our boys. Oh, they're rushing in! Don't let them get the- nice. Oh, is this happening? Oh, how do you miss a shotgun of that ring? Oh, God. Our whole t Oh, fuck! That grenade- Why? Why do I even have grenades? Like, only the AI can use them. He's not moving. I told- I fucking told him to move, too. So typical. So typical. These guys are still coming. Oh, that's surprising. Okay. Sam Sarai. Oh yeah, that's our that's our good doctor as well. Like I don't I don't even understand. Like only the wait, did we rescue that girl? Where was that girl? That Grazilian rescued. Or whoever did. Well Space Rock's got this one, I guess. I don't fucking know. <clears throat> but yeah, like, I swear, like, y the AI will never use grenades properly, but it doesn't matter if the enemy uses them, because, like, like, they don't care if they blow your shit up. Like, you know what I mean? Like, there's there's no penalty for them to do that. But it's like, if you use them, it's like, oh, fuck, I'm blowing up all my everything. Are you any good? Uh, Optimist is nice. Crafting of 12 is nice. And they are tribal, so we do have a chance of recruiting them. Okay, you can go ahead and capture them. Let's uh, see how things go here. Did we get everybody rescued. We have the new hospital now, though. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, Mr. Grinch. So we're getting it growing, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Okay, well, we, we got Erica, which is nice, I guess. Uh, how bad is Squint? 11 hours? That's survivable. I forget. So who are my doctors, exactly? Uh, it's literally just Sam Sarai, I think. And then Fagwin is maybe. She's a 5. Oh, Unigaz. Sick. Do we have you as number 1 for Doctor Unigaz? Yeah, there you go. What are you doing right now? Okay, she's gonna tend the people. Um, hmm. Well, listen, I like Erica. Well, actually, is Erica that bad? Yeah. Not great. Okay, Erica is gonna survive. Sam Sarai, on the other hand, is. He's one of our own. We're actually gonna give him regular medicine, because he's, he's a really important dude. And we're, we're going to cheat a little bit here. So we're going to bug the AI so that she drops that medicine. Do this, and then she gets good medicine for him. Because I really want Sam's ride to survive. Because he's pretty good. Sadly, we don't have a lot of medicine to, you know, take advantage of that with. Okay, we need graves for all these, right? More weapons, that's nice. Uh, Space Roth has been looking for a spear, so it's excellent. I'm sure he goes and gets one. Where do we put these bodies? Uh, well, we're not going to be going out here at all, ever. So I think we put them in that direction. Let's put the graves over here. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. So if the enemies attack from here, we're just like, yeah, check it out, dude. We don't care. Severe illness. That's squint. Probably blood loss related. Yes. Oh, oh, he's really fucked up. Did our doctor go to bed instead of, you know, heal? Are you that good, though? Uh, no, it's okay. You're definitely not good enough to be, like, use the good medicine on, so... Let's wake you guys up. Erica's got infection. She's a good doctor, right? Yes. 
Uh, I... Hmm... I think we're gonna use normal medicine on her. As well. You guys, if you could tend to her. That'd be great. Mr. Grinch, you just got punched. That's it, dude. You got a tiny little bruise. You're fine. Then we're gonna go back to... I was just doing regular medicine on her. I just wanted to get the infection treated. Something I just don't want to deal with. Health needs treatment, Mr. Grinch. No, you're just being bruised. Okay, whatever. If you're a baby and you're, like, afraid that being punched is going to, like, ruin your day. Oh, man, we really got to get on this. Kent did. Need to be cooking a lot more. Just cut it off. Yeah. Oh. Gray. Okay, gray's fine. Nice. This guy still hasn't joined us, but that's okay. Nice. 48% on this guy, because we're tribal as well. It's a huge benefit. Erica's got infected again. Oh my god. Like, we have medicine for days, like, not counting the good stuff, so I'm not worried about it. Uh, I would... L oh, Jesus. Can we treat that? What are you doing right now? Consuming corn. Yeah, okay. The second you're done that, though. This is actually all your fault, Unigaz. I hope you know that. Go take a pistol. Because actually, you're just too fucking dangerous with grenades. Okay, we're healing the... Oh, there's an LMG right there. But that's okay. We got we got more people we'll have been using our LMGs. Space Roth, what are you doing? Oh, cleaning blood? Cool. The visitors are leaving? Score 28. They'll visit here once in a while. Nice. They liked it, guys. Well, we can go ahead and say these are back for regular people. Like I said, we'll, we'll build like a proper guest house a little bit later on. But right now, we, we have a lot of things we're trying to do in a very short amount of time. Um, and I'm just happy we're not dead yet, you know? Let's get our cooler. I think we're going to need two coolers. Uh, reason being, um, it gets really hot in the winter here. And we'll get some coolers for here as well. So, yay, and... Hey, Erica joins. Yes, please. That's excellent. Awesome. So, Erica, you're our number one doctor. Because yeah. you're really good at it and you get better at it. Which means we can actually take a uh, Grizzlian off Doctor. Vagrant off Doctor. I mean, like, they're still number two for Doctor. It's just, these people should be doing it first. Uh, hauling, number one. Flicking, number one. You can't firefight. That's okay, we can deal with that. Um, you can kind of cook. You can't construct, so... You can kind of grow. You can have. You can help with growing, sure. You're very good at art, though. Excellent. Oh, that's right, research. Actually, comparable to Sam's Rye, so yeah. I like that, yeah. I think, well, actually, I changed, changed my mind. Um, so, we're not going to want much art done. So, if I do want art done, I want you to do it because you're good at it. I don't think I have anyone else who can art. No and no. Unhappy nudity, Erica. Well, we do need to get our tailoring going again. We actually need way more than that. And Erica, you don't mind using a gun, right? Incapable violent. Oh. Well, yeah. My dying. Okay, so what do we got? We got Eat My Ferret, we got Ken, Grizzlian, Pernodi is not in this group, actually. Let's go ahead and get Mr. Pernodis. Yeah, it didn't work out too well for us in our first run. But, you know, I, I think he's redeemed himself. He's given himself another shot. Oh yeah, we need batteries, dude. Um, eventually this is going to be where the batteries go. So I'm just going to drop those there. We just do this. What do I think about that? Hmm, I kind of like it. No. 
I'm not in love with it. I think two batteries is fine for now. Although we're going to be pulling a lot of power once we do get our um, air conditioning up and running. Well, we'll figure it out. Either way. So cool air. Cool air. And say cool air. Seems fine to me. That should be fine. That might be able to get everything in here. Um, but on the off chance it doesn't. I wouldn't mind doing that. If we do this. And that. That's a lot of components we're using. But I mean... That, that's like our main concern, is cold air. And get away without the middle one, maybe. Let's try it, let's try it with just this setup here. We want to try and keep people a little cool. And then we need our vents, which thankfully vents are just steel, which is something I have like more than enough of. Um... I think probably just do it there, 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 there. That's, that's good. Put it on the corner here. Then see, this is going to be the interesting part. In theory, we could just pull the cold, the cold air like through this way. Because really, they just need it when they're sleeping. I mean, that's that's sort of the ideal because that's when you get all your mood. So I could just put a door here and just feed it through the rooms. That might work. I kind of like it. I really want to run an experiment now. See what would happen if you did something like this, this, this. Like, in... Let's do science, guys. Let's try this. Let's see if I... If I do this, if it properly feeds temperature all of that. Um, we're going to put a... I can just get away with the wooden door. Not enough storage. Holy shit, what happened to all our wood? Probably burning it. Wooden floors. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's fine. we got lots of people that can cut uh, trees. Yep. 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 Oh, that's zillion. I want to keep this. I really like that little area. Nice. Should be more than enough wood. Hey, Night Captain Forty Two, how you doing, man? That's, how are our people, by the way? Uh, Pernodi is infected as fuck. Why are you walking around? Oh, we never treated that. Oh, you're totally gonna die. Totally gonna die, dude. Um. Sam, sorry, can you walk yet? Yeah, because you're our best doctor. we save these infections? I, I didn't... So I think what happened is... I'm, I'm not sure. We might lose you, actually. But what I think happened is because you um, got recruited, the game, like, bugged and reset a lot of your stuff. Like, you can see here, for example. Um, like, this got set to that. Um, unfortunately, we're out of, like, good medicine now. So things we actually need another cook. It's a big thing. Uh not doing too bad. Yesterday was fun, 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 and uh, you know, a little tired, but we deal. And uh, yeah. 
just chilling, trying to get some rim world in. And you know what? I'm I'm liking it. I'm fine. Like, so rim world's a weird game for me. And we've talked about this so much. But the thing is, I like it. And I've always thought it was a good game. But I've never, like, loved it. Do you know what I mean? And so I've always been so hard on it. But I think I'm finally hitting the point where I'm, like, I'm getting proficient enough at the game that I can be like, yeah. Yeah. You know? This is good. I'm liking this. Like, a lot of the mechanics I didn't like before, I still don't like. But at least I know how to deal with them. You know what I mean? So it makes them more of a challenge and not, like, an extremely frustrating experience. Which is good. Like, the mood, for example. I'm getting really good at mood. Uh, Pernodi's got issues, and that's okay. But, um, I think it takes a little bit too long to get up to the point where you can afford to get the mood consistently in good spots. But, yes. Hmm, it, it, it does feel nice, though. Feels nice. Hopefully at some point... Okay, good. Developed immunity. I'm going to reach the point where I'm as proficient at this as I am at Dwarf Fortress. That'll make me nice and happy. So is having this in here reduce the room 10 infection chance? We are going to want um, cold air coming in here. There is actually, so there's a lot to be said swapping this around. Making this the secondary, like the medicine room specifically, because, oh shit, we are storing medicine here. Um, I'm going to take, I'm going to take medicine and drugs off this because I want that close to the hospital. I think we do it that way. Uh, this is food, this is medicine. So medicine doesn't need a lot of cooling. So I think we'll actually, we'll be okay just leaving it like that. Oh, yeah, we've, we've had some terrible things with the corpse rooms. Don't worry about that. I've, I've had that experience before. <laughs> we got there, though. Yeah, I definitely need to set up a second, uh, just ignore that. Uh, uh, we're dealing with the corpse room in our own way. Nobody, nobody saw that. I forgot we were doing that too, but we, we are. What's this? Chinchilla? Nice. Got nice fur. Mine, Gra Grazzy boy, what are you doing, boy? Don't lock yourself in like last time. That was really embarrassing. Nice. Okay, that's being reinforced, so it's going to be a little harder for them to dig in. Uh, infestation. Okay. Where? In my fucking medical room! Oh, insect jelly. Wow. Is that how it's gonna be? Uh, Squint, I need you to get the shit out of there, dude. Brawler. Yeah, I don't have a... I don't have a melee weapon in here right now, my man. I don't think throwing spear counts. I know someone had a metal spear laying around. There. Okay. Well then. Yep. Let's um, not use melee weapons, probably. Sam Sarai. I'd rather not have you get murdered, but at the same time, grab that LMG. Just in case. The Kent. Oh, Faglin, I know I want the chinchilla just as bad as you do, but... Um, you're also a brawler, and we are woefully lacking melee weapons, so... I think you're going to have to just chill for right now. I mean, you can keep doing whatever you're doing. Spencer off, that'll be fine. Unigaz. I want to trust Unigaz with the frag grenades again. I think we do it. So it can only go wrong so many times. So that one, that one. I think that's everyone we have with weapons. Oh shit! Bugs are serious. Ah, uh, get out of the way, Squint. Oh, Ken's gonna shoot right through Squint's face. All right. Everyone, get oh fuck. Okay. Mega spider. That sounds bad. Did you grab your LMG? No. Come on, Sam. Sorry. This is serious. 
Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Got a plan. If you wanna if you wanna join our tribe, boys, you're gonna have to fight for your right. Where is Graz, by the way? Is he close? Oh he's so far away. So far. A space Roth, come, come in here and deconstruct that. Not through that door, though. In, in here first. Every, everyone, um, stand on the other side of the bed. This, this is our big plan, boys. We get killing field. You know, guys. You guys, what are you doing? Wait, where are you doing, by the? Oh man, you didn't take your grenades. Shit. Major break risk per nodi. Why? I butchered human like. Oh, per nodi. My dang. The rest of us were okay with eating people. I just kind of made the assumption. My, my dang. My dang. We can bury the other ones. All right, here we go. Here we go. We're going to go in here. How mad do you get if you a quick brawler will be unhappy for using grenades? Okay. You can deconstruct it. Let's go. Brazilians still running here. That fat bastard. How long does it take? Get in here, man. All right. It's getting caesarious. Blight has ravaged my crops. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, yeah, actually, it's super annoying. We're like running really low on food. Again. God damn it, game. Every time I start growing my crops again, the game deletes them. That's not cool. Let's, um, let's set that up real quick. Five by ten. Nice. Okay, let's get some potato, potato. We get like to rice just so we can get our food stores back up because yeah game game is not being nice to us and um yeah we're still good on all this stuff i think strawberry plant delicious even when raw grows really quick yeah let's grow strawberries then i like that it's genius uh, we should get one potato, though. All right, here we go. Let's build to get real. Brazilian, stand in the doorway. Whoa! He's shooting right through Space Ross' head, dude. Oh, God. In there. Woo! Right, did we get him? Not yet. Holy shit, he's got a lot of health. All right, Space Roth. Um, grab those grenades. I know you're not going to like it because you're a brawler, but... Oh shit. Okay, he's going for Trobo. We're fine. Holy shit. This is how you do it. This is how you're supposed to deal with this problem. Grab Mr. Grinch, what are you doing, you crazy frick? Okay. In here. Ready? You're gonna get these grenades going. Oh, Gray, what are you doing? Gray, you can't just run in there and steal the food? That's my food, first off. But that's exactly why we, uh, we told you to run in there and do that, actually. Terrible people, and we're using you as a human shield. It's right near. Uh, Brazilian, get, uh, get in that room as well. Nice, we got the firing line, boys. Okay, take out that nest. Uh, don't kill Gray! Because this guy was good, right? He's okay. Nice! Nice, okay. Um, 
We're gonna kill the mega spider. That thing's fucked. All right, one more good grenade. Okay, rescue him. Capture him? Do we do we have to recapture him? Well, that thing's not dead. What is that? Man, that was pro strats, guys. I feel pretty good about it. Uh, drop your grenades, by the way, because, uh, you know. Well, let's grab Mr. Grinch, who's a melee specialist. Oh, is it? That thing's dead. Finish off. Let's have Mr. Grinch finish it off. And then, um, I think we'll have Grizzillion. I mean, Grizzillion's sort of the king here. We'll have him take out the nest. The hive. If he can do that. Who's supposed to be rescuing this guy? I don't know. Oh, you were, and yeah, right. I told you not to. That's my bad. Get a couple more people maybe shooting this thing. Get our doctor safe. Nice. Okay, Sam Sir, I, uh, I don't know if I feel good about you standing there. rule everything you touch, but like Lion King, if I die, I'll rule beyond the grave. I'm down with it, dude. I think we lose Grizzlian, that's it, man. We, um... Listen, Sam, sorry, you're my doctor, right? Like, we've, we, I think we've uh, talked about this at some point. Um, first off, we need to finish that. Second, I, like, maybe I keep telling someone to not capture this guy, or it's just bugging out because the room he's in? Yeah. Can you heal him, maybe? Nice. Easy peasy. I wasn't worried for a second. We played that, guys. Good job. And that's why you keep prisoners around. So that you can just, you know, throw them at a problem. I like it. Okay, well, that's for prisoners. This, this room is not for... Um, we don't need anyone else technically in the med bay for nowsies. I will, though. Um, we'll make these both prisoner rooms. That's fine. Oh. How, how injured is Trobo as well? Oh, yeah, we already fixed him. His spine got gunshot by an LMG. God only knows why the bugs had LMGs at their disposal. It's terrifying to think about, really. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and say this room is back to just being a med bay. Hey, you guys can go ahead and eat that stuff. That's fine. Wait, they eat on their own? That's interesting. Um, I kind of like the idea of that. Because you could almost, you could put like a one by one stockpile or prepared food. But they'd probably stack it too high. Yeah, that's the unfortunate part. Yeah, let's get this going. And we'll, um, get our second. Oh, electric tailor bench. Yeah, I would love that, actually. Nice. Okay. Just put this here. Right, fine. Put it here where the old one was. So we already have a chair there. A good chair? Shit chair. Alright. I think that'll be good, though. Build a chair right here. And we need another electric stove. Right here. Just do them back to back. That's fine. Build another chair right 
Okay, um, the butcher table, we're gonna deconstruct and we are going to set the butcher table up in here. Cause that's just where I like it. I just like the, it makes sense to me, like this is where you throw your corpses and stuff. And actually, to that end, we are going to take corpses off of this one. Seems good. Oh, right, we need someone to rescue that guy. Um. Renodi's up and about. Did, did we rescue them or no? Okay, there we go. Game wasn't too sure. Nice, well, I mean, yeah, that worked out. I'm really happy with how that went. Uh, we definitely need these batteries. I guess you can play horseshoes, Grizzlian. Well, actually, you can't because you're still happy from the whole honeymoon thing. So. You know what I mean? Is this outdoors? That's outdoors. Elephant self-tamed. Is it a boy? Ooh, nice. We got a boy and a girl elephant. That's hilarious. Uh, we just need to produce elephant children and then mine their tusks for eternity. We need this, though. Uh, let's make this out of limestone. Just in case. Don't want it, like, exploding. Elephants make great haulers? Yeah, I would imagine. And hey, Schmelly Orc. How you doing, man? We might have somebody to name you soon. I think we're going to be able to recruit Gray if they can ever forgive us for all the terrible things we did. The electric tailor bench will explode when it's built in power? Oh, why? What? What? Really? Why? Is it too close to the battery? It's outdoors? Weird. Why is this outdoors? Well, this is outdoors because there's... This isn't finished. That's why. I guarantee you. We have to close this off because this is all going to count as outdoors, right? Yeah. The game's really weird about that. I understand, though. It's because it doesn't, like, designate properly. Like, a room isn't a room unless there's a door and walls surrounding it. Which means you can do some really janky stuff, actually. But that's okay. At least we know. Something really cool happened. Oh, great. Yeah, I was just talking about that. Technically, Night Captain was here first, so I guess we can give him, give him the old... Night Captain Fortitua. Just exciting. What are you, Optimist? Abandoned Child Optimist. I mean, you know, life doesn't work out for you. Might as well try and make the best of it. That's finished. Yes. Wow, Brazilian like did that really quickly. I want this wall, Brazilian. Sorry, man. This is how it be. Oh, well, that's good, dude. <laughs> okay, first fire. I'm happy about that. Uh, yep, that's reasonable. Completely reasonable. That power conduit going, and let's go ahead and build. The I can just not have that there as well. Why, why can't I build there? Oh, because there's a little bed, right? Okay, cool. So, we get a wall running down here to eat those cables. Wall here to eat those cables. I, it, it might look a bit silly, but, like, I'd, I'd just so much rather not have the cables 
get like, you know what I mean? Constantly. I'm not in love with it. Razzy boy, deconstruct these walls, please. So this is indoors now, right? That's outdoors. Is this not finished? Oh, right, because the coolers aren't built. Yeah, I got it. You can strike this guy. And work on that. Should I build a door here? Like, like we have the door all the way down there. I don't think it's crazy important. And again, I'm not worried about tanking Grazilian's happiness right now. Like, in the... Um, okay, so we are going to set target temperature 21. I think that's probably fine. Uh, honestly, most people seem to be pretty comfortable around like 22. Uh, me personally, I'd rather have the house at like 16, but I, you know, I'm not a dick. I don't really care. It work. So eat my ferret. It's mostly just the. Oh yeah, we yeah we did some of that stuff. What was Night Captain good at again? Forget. Crafting. Uh. I see. Why do we want this guy again? Because he's our new tailor, that's why. Damn straight. Tailoring, smithing. Perfect. And we can turn uh, Kent. Oh, Kent was already cooking. Who was our other tailor? Did he eat my ferret? No. No? I had somebody, like, 24-7 tailoring for a while, anyway. That works for me. Maybe. Who do I always have to do this? Can I find out? There's got to be a way, right? Who made this? Doesn't say. Shit. So there was somebody. I think it was Eat My Ferret we had to do it. Um, but right now he's doing stones. But we, we could take him off that, honestly. No point in keeping him on it. Can you cook Eat My Ferret? We need to cook. Do that. Brazilian. We need you for construction. Sadly. Space Roth. Yeah. Honestly, that's fine. Done. Oh, whoops. Yes, I'll do that, right? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, cool. Works for me. Uh, we'll just attack a mine. Mine's already there. Perfect. I mean, you can take over helping with the mining. Which is great. Tailoring smithing. Good. Well, that... Yay, that worked out. Nice. Oh, yeah, we need these new walls, please. That's indoors. This is indoors. Unroofed, but still indoors. Excellent. I hate seeing these. I, I know, like, they build the floor tiles and it goes away, but it just looks so, like, gross. Oh my god, doesn't this look nice? Looks like a resort, actually. Damn. People can't be complaining too much, right? Probably, actually. They bitch all the time in this game. Well, let's get working on the important stuff. So, we're going to do animal beds. All these rooms, but how did I do that? Uh, by the door? Yeah, that makes sense. Door, door. Door, door. So eventually we'll get animal beds going. We get our plant pots, which I think I set up something like this. Usually. Looks good. And then, yeah, we can probably extend this. Good night, and hello, Labby2K. How you doing? 
Do we got wood now? We got some wood coming. That's excellent. So I think we're going to start building the... I really want to tame these guys, actually. What are the chances of taming them? Yeah, that... That's right. The 1.8 is so terrifying. But I think there's a lot going in its favor. I really want to get, like, the hotel set up soon. Because we're, like, things are starting to look nice here. So, bills, add bill, butcher creature, do forever. Uh, we've taken humans off that, which is nice. Oh, yeah, we need to get rid of these corpses. Uh, yeah, you're cooking space for a month, which is totally fine. We do need to cook. So, we'll get Chris laying out here. A little faster, my man. Run your hardest. We gotta get some cardio going on for everybody. I'm doing pretty good. We're uh, doing pretty good now at RimWorld. Which is nice. Um, I'm fairly new to it. So, you know, we had a period where I was like struggling to... Someone else grabbing that? No. Struggling to use all my applicable skills from other... Um, similar like strategy and sort of simulator games. Finally getting there though. Finally getting the hang of the mechanics. Feeling feeling confident. And that's of course when you start having fun. So yeah, food is officially Hennish. Yeah. No? I do have a really good hunter though. Somewhere. Was he eating my ferret? Yeah. So if I need hunting done, go hunt. I think that's reasonable. Like I don't need hunting too often. But if I do, I want it done right away. And let's actually... Do we just kill all these capybaras? Sure. So, get some, get some food. Smoke leaves rotted away. Really? I didn't know they did. Well, where are they? Okay, well, why... Oh, shit. I didn't know they went in this storage. Must have plant matter? That's why. Okay. So I actually want these here. Ah, okay, okay. So that's where all our smoke leaf has been going. Um, if you guys could just haul that right now. Nice, we're playing on rough. Uh, and I'm only playing a couple mods. I generally... I like to get good at a game before I start modding it. I love the idea of this, like, eat my ferret just hunting with an LMG. That makes me happy. It's, uh, it's one way of doing it for sure. I'm not sure what I need to start producing smoke leave bowls with. Could be I just don't have it yet. I just don't have the technology. Pretty close to drug production. I imagine that's going to give it to us. Where's the worst place lightning could strike? Right. Well, we don't really have that many crops anyway. Probably right here on the potatoes. Break days. Insult. Who insulted eat my ferret for hunting with an LMG and hitting nobody? Come on, guys. Be nice to each other. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Um, so the mods I have right now, let me try and remember. I don't think I can see it here. So let's try and remember. I have um, a prosthetic mod, because I think prosthetics are really cool. We haven't used it yet, but I just really like the idea of prosthetics. Um, I'm a big fan of sort of permanent um, damage and stuff in games. I just really like that. It's exciting to me, uh, and it helps with the narrative, which is cool. We have the hospitality mod because I think that's super cool. Just people come visiting and stuff like that because I love running hotels and making stuff like that. I really like games like that, so that's exciting. Um, haven't really got too much done with it because they, you know, came early game, but we did recently have a few people happy. That's why we're going to open up a resort down here is sort of my, my plan. Um, also, have small one. Let's see if I can check on Steam while I'm playing. I should be able to look at my workshop. I have... Uh, 
Oh, right. So I have the Prepare Carefully mod as well. Um, now, I didn't actually use that. Well, I did, but I didn't. I didn't use it to, like, cheat or anything, basically. I just replaced a few traits. Um, some bad, some good. With my starting five tribe members, because we were doing a tribe, because that was interesting. Just to give them cannibal. Because I want, like, I like the idea of, like, a jungle cannibal tribe that seems fun. Pernodi seems to always have shitty... Oh, yeah. Oh, that's right. Every time I'm like, Pernodi, dude, why are you always so depressed? Oh, yeah, I made you murder people. Uh, and I also have the um, allow tool. That was the final one I had. Just because it saves me, like, five minutes in the beginning of the game. Always useless, dude. Like, I mean, you mean well. It's just, yeah, you... Who's this? Kent, you can get closer. Probably. Pernodi, oh. Is it... Why can't you just be happy? You know? Sure, we killed a few people. Sure, I made you butcher them. But I mean... Oh, yes, yeah, sit back. I'm sorry, sit back. Uh, Grazillion, could you build that electric stove like 30 years ago? Sweet. I also want to get that electric tailor bench up. I'm really excited to do that. Ambrosia sprout. That's cool, I guess. Mysterious ambrosia bush sprout in your body. If you wait for the plants to grow, you'll be able to harvest delicious, pleasurable, and slightly addictive fruit. Yes, please! Love the sound of all of that. Mostly the addictive part. I feel like we could probably get in trouble with that. Bills. Add bill. Um, cook fine meal. This one I'm just going to have cook fine meals. And this one it'll be... I don't know. Actually, it doesn't really matter because the game's quite clever in the fact I can do do until you have. So we can just do that, which is excellent. Because you always want to have simple meals because they cook... Like, it, it takes a lot less time to do. Starving. Uh, do we have food to eat? Not really. We had a lot of food until the cold snap, and then the game deleted all my crops. Which, I mean, that's always fun. Hey, drug production. Cool. Uh, food is a thing right now. Nutrient paste. I Honestly, I think like we're eventually we're going to get food. I should just do a bunch of hunting. I think we'll be okay for that. Go juice? Combat performance enhancing drug. Hmm? Penicillin. I think penicillin's gonna be our big one. Carpets. Uh, this will make them like us more. Smithing. I'm really tempted to do the whole penicillin thing. Drug production disease. Um. Let's go for... I'm going to say carpet making. I'm curious. So, yeah. Uh, what's our temperature? 22. 22. Yeah, you don't have power just yet. Which is okay. Hook you up. Uh, uh, it looks like it reaches. Oh, no, it's this one. Derp. Oh, we're gonna need to run power up this anyway. Need power. Um... Technically, I don't need that there. Save myself a little bit of metal. We got plenty of metal, though, right? Yeah. Low food. That's true. Uh, zero food. Hmm. Alright, well, let's go hunting. Didn't we just kill a bunch of capybaras? Presumably everyone just ate them raw, like idiots. Uh, we could also pick some berries. Which, eh, it's not the most optimal, but... Harvest... Berries? So not a lot, it looks like. I mean, 
something. These, uh, do we try and kill a whole tribe of alpacas as well? Yeah, why not, I guess. Need the meat. Extreme exhaustion. Well, you are starving. It's a minor problem there. The chinchilla right here, if someone wants to eat that. Listen, guys, you're starving because none of you can shoot where the dam. Sorry, that's our problem. We got food. Let's get the food in. Get cooking. Some, somebody save Ferret, dude. The butcher? Oh, cancel deconstructing that. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, we can deconstruct it. Um, right. I swear we just hauled a corpse in. No? It's tempting to just get rid of our doves or the cassowary. I got enough beds? Ah, uh, we should have enough beds. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Three, nine. Oh, did I do that wrong? Three, nine. What the fuck? Three, six, nine. There we go. That's when my brain was messed up. Eleven. Uh, yeah. True. There you go. Thank you. All right, ate it all before you can turn the meals. Yeah, that's that's the way she goes. Honestly, we've been dealing with, like, no food the whole game. Our, our people are really dumb, because they, they won't cook. Like, well, okay, because initially we had to deal with the campfire thing, which... Campfires are so bad. It's just... Insane. Okay. Yeah, if you don't want to starve, there is food somewhere, anyway. Uh, no, we're gonna be we're gonna be staying up all night, my man. Consuming berries? Yeah, go for it. You're gonna be staying up all night cooking, boys. Uh, we do. We have two, well, one and a half dedicated cooks. It's not enough. But also, we ran out of food because, so we had like literally three thousand like corn and stuff like that. But the game decided to, like, joke around by... They, it did a cold snap, which instantly killed our entire set of crops. And then when the next set was, like, almost, like, grown, it did a, um... Something else really, really, really stupid. Can't remember what it was. Just get the rice going, honestly. It's not great. I'd much rather get the strawberry. But food. It's something else. A uh, blight that just instantly killed. All of our stiff. We got nothing to cook, eh? Looks like some bird meat there. Yeah, I feel ya. Um, I thought I turned food off here. Oh no, I didn't. Whoops. Not bad. I mean, eventually we'll want food here, but mostly we want it here. Tempt to just slaughter these things. Oh no, I'm totally down with tips, dude. All for that. I guess we could make more people hunt temporarily. Um. A lot of like great shots right now. On that, we are hunting these currently. Taking that on that. Mm. 
cargo pods. Hey, food? Yeah! Insect jelly. Nice. Thank. Yeah, uh, just regular holly, I think. That worked out. I mean, yeah, like, we're gonna be able to get this stuff eventually. Just takes time to go around. Eat my ferric has an extreme break risk. Well, it's because you're starving. What are you doing? Consuming insect jelly. Run! Get there before you break, dude. Everyone's like running for it. They're like, shit! Food! Yeah, I know. Eclipse. Uh, okay. That's fine. Doesn't affect my power, thankfully. And, yeah, well, who's my hunter with no ranged weapon? Squint, eh? It's because he's a brawler, right? Will they not hunt with a melee weapon? Is this a, what, what about this? Does this count as a brawler will be unhappy? It's like a throwing spear, though. I, I feel like that should count. You know? I feel like they should be okay with that. Um, I know you're going to be unhappy, and actually, the brawler, like, you, you really lose happiness, but grab this short boat, because I, I do need hunting, man. We can get rid of it later. We just need a lot of food right now. Yeah, you can make them manually attack, for sure. Takes, takes a little bit too much, um, what's it called, uh, micromanagement for me. I, I like to just sort of sit back and watch things happen. When I micro, I feel like it's like, ugh, you know. I can, but it's not what I'm, like, super interested in. I mean, I could kill those elephants. We do have a male and a female currently. So I already have breedability. Cobras will often attack when harmed. Yeah, it's reasonable. Yeah, we should be good. Should start seeing some food soon. Oh, the fucking dogs are eating all the meat. That's why. Enrique. Fuck. I forget who the mom was. Age four. Oh, actually, technically. Yeah, I think we just put Odette out of her misery. She's a little, a little too peckish. Ah, we can we can get by with her for now. Eventually, she'll die. We should just dig up these corpses and eat them. It was working for us before. Yeah, um, I don't know. Wild Boar Revenge. Oh, no. It's gonna kill Squint. Squint, instead of being stupid, just try shooting. Oh, actually, I don't know if that's a good idea. He might die. Get my ferret, get down here. He should, should be fun. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, I don't know why they always just instantly run away. But, like, they can't run away. Like, they're never, like, smart enough. Like, you know what I mean? Consuming pork. Straight up, dude. Are you hungry, hungry? You're only a little hungry, pal. You can definitely get away with, um... Resting up, I think. So you need a little bit of medicine treated on you. Hey, we're getting some getting some meals coming, though. Okay, who's my grower? I forget. Was it Mr. Grinch? Yeah. Why aren't you growing? What, what have you been doing? I probably have him on hunting, don't I? Uh, no. I have him on handling, plant cutting. Reasonable. Let's take handling off, though. Growing is number one. That's probably what he's been doing, is trying to train those animals. A wake up binge. Hmm. Okay, because you had the range weapon. And you won't drop that. See, this is the annoying thing. It's like, oh, I'm so mad, I've got a fucking bow! Uh, do you want to drop that then, if that's really bothering you? No, it's fine. 
Okay. You do you, bud. You want to bleed to death? Yeah, why not? Okay. It's all good. It's all good. Nice. Night Captain's finally fully healed. That's great. What do you do again? Smith and craft and... I mean, you can grow. That's good. Growing's good. We can do some of that. Do we have any food clips to be done? Over Squint is overdosing. Yeah? But you said you were hungry. Pills, I guess. Sure, whatever you want, Squint. He's addicted to wake up. That's fine, we don't have any. Go and enjoy that. Resilience, get up. What is this? Renodi, are you still upset about the eating people? I guess. Finish building that, then we can take this down, which is great. Eclipse is ending, it's fine. Low on food, yeah. Honestly, the dogs really do just get in the way. I hate doing this. Games. But I didn't ask for them. They just kind of eat your food and... What, what, what can we use a dog for? Hauling? Hmm. Rescuing people? Okay. That could be good. Attacking people? Not really. Ugh. <sighs> Charles annoying. We'll have a hunting accident at some point. Yeah, I'm fine with that. We'll figure it out. Starvation. Yeah, well. We have a lot of people on hunting. It's just none of them seem to want to... Okay, you know what? It's really bothering you guys. You guys. I also put you on hunting. won't shoot. Okay, hunting's number one, everybody. Let's just go get some food. We'll eat that and worry about the growing once the growing is done. Seems good to me. Come on. Holy shit, look at them run. Small four right there. Yeah, get those alpacas. I just love hunting with an LMG. Like, that's so badass. Uh, prison Break. Trobo. Oh, I forgot we had him. What's wrong with you, by the way? Is it starving? Yeah. Ah. Um, how good were you? Industrious Green Thumb. That's super nice. Ah. Uh, We could do the thing where you, uh, you know, where are you going, Trobo? What's your plan here? Why do the doors just open? For He's equipping a short bow. They can do that. Why did the Why did the door just open for him? What? Hey, Spider Sphere, what's up, dude? Yeah, foot wrong with our bread. Alright, let's get Mr. Grinch in here. Go rush this fucker. Well, I mean, this is gonna solve our problem. I don't think we need to kill the dogs now. They have already killed them, though. Say. Is there still a boy somewhere? Might have. Oh, is that turkey? Yes. yes. Okay. Anyway, let's go rush this guy. I, I don't know why the door just automatically opened for him, though. It's weird. Oh, here's one. Elvis. Oh, well, we're not killing him. 
Enrique, he's proven to be quite the stud. All right, we'll keep here. You guys got the gun. There we go, fake one. Come up here. I'm kill this guy. Like, okay, okay, now the door shuts, and then why are you running through there? Okay, so the person I said go melee this guy, is he going? Really? Why did the door... Okay, but but why does the door open for him? They normally have to break through the door. Like, why? You know what I mean? I don't get it. One bag one. Don't miss these shots, dude. There we go. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, Mr. Grinch is able to execute people, actually. Except not this guy, apparently. Alright, go hunting, fig one. Ah, what are you doing? Taking the wounded prisoner? No, 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 no. Oh, wait, actually, we get a huge mood penalty if a prisoner dies, don't we? Yeah, yeah, mm. Alright. I guess. No, he didn't even break through his prison order, though. He just opened it. I, I don't know. I've never seen that happen. We're feeding the prisoner for us. And we got some stuff that we can definitely butcher. Like, I don't know. Like, they go max range and then start shooting. I'm surprised we're not hitting all of these things. There's, there's a lot of things we could be killing with these shots. <laughs> Just hunting with the LMG, it's so badass. Oh, really? Let him bleed out and get around it? Oh. Wish I knew that. Ah, uh, yeah, Grizzlian. Hunting cassowary, that's good, dude. It's useful. Bolt goods trader. Hey, sweet! I can do with one of those. Going to bed? Or are you going to eat? How about we trade with the bulk goods guy? Maybe they have food. They do! They got tons of food. We got tons of money, too. Boomalope meat? Mega sloth? Mega sloth sounds really good. I don't want to eat a mega sloth. But we could buy a lot of it. I guess it's not that much, though, if we eat it raw. Let's see what kind of other stuff we can get away with here. Human leather duster. I'll sell one of those. Uh, we'll sell our monkey hide hats. Okay, they have meat, but they don't have, like... Yeah. It's fine, though. I think we still buy... A whole bunch of it. 145. That should be enough to make a couple meals because we just need. We basically. Eh, it makes me sad about like the silver loss here. Oh, uh, well, they're going to be around for a couple days, right? So. Let's maybe not buy the food. Or they'll be around for a day anyway. And then we'll debate our food situation then. So we got got some potatoes coming. Yeah, I think we I think we're gonna have to do it sadly. We haven't haven't even started on this. Oh well. We'll set up another. This is just going to be like a huge growing zone. Um, eventually, we're going to build stuff here, but again, just to recoup, because we had so much food before. But just to recoup that food. Get some rice going. And. Was it Mr. Grinch? 
Yeah, growing of 17. Like, that's incredible. I'm really tempted to go for the strawberries. There's a difference here, right? 4.4 days. I mean, it is a day. The rice is... Three, I think. It's a whole nother day. Nutrition, 0.18 versus... 0.2. Oh, so it's better. Okay. Hmm. It's tough. It's tough. I think... Yeah, I, th I think... Let's see. Just get some rice up. So let's go ahead and wake up Mr. Grinch. And we'll have him sow that area all night. And yeah, um, let's just because like, people are starting to freak out, let's go get Grizzly in to buy some food. I assume it's just people starving and stuff, eating raw food. And yeah. All right, let's buy all your pork. What? Nice four one. Did we not sell before our stuff. Did. Why do we end up with 851? Did we leave it on the floor? Oh, okay. Oh, okay, okay. That's what happened. I was like, what the shit? That's a, that's a fair amount of money. But got some food anyway. Uh, Gazillion, do you want to maybe... All this? We're gonna haul that, then we're gonna also wake up. Squint, what are you doing? Okay. I'm gonna wake Ken up. Tell him to cook. Just make sure people aren't eating the raw stuff because it's like super inefficient to do that. Weird, this turkey had a social tap. <laughs> he did, son. That's okay. Nice. Well, we're getting there anyway. Colonist needs treatment. Space Roth, what's wrong with him? Probably from hunting, I'd imagine, eh? Oh, no, yeah, the short, yeah, from the prison break. Uh, what are you doing? Cooking a simple meal, I like that. Cargo pods. Give me food. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, like, oh no, the, the game owes me that, right? Like, it screwed me over. It, it's gotta, it's gotta help me recover a little bit. <laughs> oh, please tell me we don't accidentally hit these people because they have some weapons, dude. I don't really want to get involved. That is a lot of effort to kill a rat. It's just gonna bleed out. There's no like, I get, we are training our shooting skill, which is good because like nobody here can shoot. So that's something, probably. Nice, right, so we're cooking, we're getting simple meals, Spathe Roth. Corn, I like it. I like it. I miss the days of having like 3k corn. Starving, that's fine, we'll figure it out. 94 so we got potatoes coming. This corn's gonna take a while. Uh, potatoes coming. Okay, Mr. Grinch, um, you go ahead. Like, he's, he's fine there. You go ahead and get these raspberries going. I'm gonna make this, or strawberries. I'm gonna make the strawberries as well. What are you doing? Assuming simple meal. Yeah, go for it. You deserve it. Maybe. Okay, you can go back to your rice. That That's fine. I'd rather get the raspberries going, but, yeah, whatever. Strawberries. Sorry, I don't eat strawberries. I'm allergic. They they smell like sickly sweet to me. I'm not a big sugar guy, but um, same time. So we haven't need our fuel generator in a while. We haven't needed, sorry, which is nice. That's a good thing. Other research, carpet making. Yeah, true, 
true. Yes, that is a big thing. Oh, so we have drug production now. Can we build something to a drug lab? Nice. Yeah, totally. Totally. Let's just copy this chair. Identical thing. Oh, yeah, there's already a chair there. Nice. Then we can roll some smoke leaf up. I think, anyway. Cargo pods. Man, the game actually felt bad for me. What is this? Drug for preventing infections. Oh, it's supposed to be penicillin, I guess. Is that how you spell penicillin? I don't think so. I don't think there's an X there. I don't really like the idea that it's just sending me penicillin. <laughs> It's like, yeah, you're gonna die. Yeah, we get, we got the malaria coming soon. So roll smoke loop joints at a crafting spot. What's that? Oh, this. Oh, cool. I had no idea. Can I make it at a drug lab or no? Oh man, I could have been doing this this whole time. It would have helped with a lot of things. That's all right. So this is done, so that should reduce the negative beauty. Yep. Because so the cable gives, like, massive negative beauty. Major break with Kent. What's wrong with you, my man? Dead man's armor vest. Okay. Eight without a table? That's definitely your choice. We have a table. Hungry, ate raw food. Ah, whatever. I'm surprised more people don't have malnutrition, actually, at the moment. So we've been eating pretty shit. Simple tribal weapons and outfits. Nice. I wish I knew that, actually. Like, previous now. That's alright. Oh, we got our first set of potatoes, boys! Are you just eating them raw? Because I swear the fuck! This is what I hate so much. Like, it doesn't take much to just put it there. Let us cook it, but no. It's just, mm, I'm gonna eat this whole big bag of potatoes. <laughs> and they, like, get sick every time. A biological age of 37. In asthma, do the aging. What? Is that permanent? What the fuck? It's 27. You don't just randomly get asthma at 27. Maybe if you live in the jungle, I guess. Alright. So how does... Like... Do I have to... It just needs tending now. Alright. Just tend them, I guess. They need new lungs, boss. That's right. Hey, Schmelly Orc. Alright. We got five guys and insane. So what do I just have to keep tending to them? Need tending in six days, yeah. Once a week. Can't just make puffers? Replace those lungs? Oh my god, can you actually make replacement lungs? That's sick. Look, we don't have geothermal. We're not gonna have geothermal for about ten thousand years. It's happening. Ah, uh, maybe potatoes. 5.8 days. I think we just get strawberries, because these people are stupid as shit, and they just keep eating raw food, so. Slaves. Whoa, yeah! Can we harvest this dude's stuff? Hang on, hang on. Health. Operations. Yeah? How good's our doctor? We actually, Pernodi's a really good doctor, right? Nine. I mean, she has been really depressed about the whole eating people thing. This is tempting. We might do it. Not right now. Can I harvest, like, elephant lungs? be super cool. Good elephant lugs. You'd never have problems breathing again. 
Probably breathe too much and like start floating. Cool. I'd be down. I'd be so good for that. And what are you doing, damn it? You're my cook. Well, one of them. Oh well. I mean, the good news is we're getting a lot of leather out of this, which means we can stop, I guess. Fuck, we killed an alpaca and nobody brought the body home. Really? It's kind of important, guys. There's another one. Like, we're starving and these people are like, hmm. I'm not, I'm not super interested in the whole, like, like, there's two alpacas right here. Not haul, no accessible spot. Oh, did I fuck up? Oh, my bad. I thought I had corpses on this one. My bad, everybody. I called y'all dumb, but I just forgot. Well, that helps. Oh, God. How, how many things have we killed? Just cold blood. Ah, uh -huh, dang. Problem solved. Cape bars? Fuck yeah. Oh, oh shit. Those are those capey bars. That's a cool one. Just chilling. No power in that room either. Yeah, no, we don't have power there yet. That's fine. Uh, we can have a gazillion finish this right here. Yay! That's our food issue. It's just people leaving corpses around because I forgot the designated spot to put them. Actually, gotta turn this down. Uh, I need this to be minus five, I think. A reasonable. As your boy, I know you're killing the uh, collapse due to extreme exhaustion. Well, hmm, I'd say that's your own fault, but I guess the food issue is partly. Mine. Don't meditate, man. <laughs> we gotta get this power up and running. God damn it. Okay, that, whoa, what? So wait, this one got power to there, but this one doesn't have power? Or it does, okay, it does now. Oh, raid. Well, there's our food issue. Uh, okay. Right, you're depressed, you need raw food and stuff, blah, blah, blah. Why are you eating without tables, right? Oh, right, because you're just eating raw food because you're dumb. Um, are they attacking right away? Your bed rest set the one? No. Should I? Oh shit, they are attacking right away. Everyone panic! Get inside. Uh, well, they have to come this way. Some damn dirty tribals. Night Captain, can you shoot or are you another brawler? Oh, good. Maybe we trust you with grenades. Just kidding, you can get a bow and arrow. Can't trust people with grenades anymore. Just it, it. Okay. What the fuck? I love how I chose that tile specifically. Okay, everyone but Pernodi. Right. Everyone over here. Uh, Night Captain, though, you were going for the bow. Space Roth. Um, I there is definitely a spear somewhere in here. All right, looks good. Oh shit! Are they just gonna try and break through? Huh. Oh, they are. That's so fucking funny. Not all of them though. Just the one? No, no, no they all are. Uh, yeah, I can deal with that. Uh, that's fine. Up here. No, 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 wait, wait, they're not. They're, most of them are going here. Or what? Y 
Yeah, I think this is this. Oh shit! What? Are they coming? Are they coming around or not? Are they breaking through? Oh shit! Kent's outside like an idiot. Ah oh, fuck! Ah oh, damn it! Squint, you don't even have a fucking weapon, dude. Grab that bow. I'll be your brawler, so you'll complain the whole time, and then you'll break. Uh, I guess just go to bed or something. I don't know. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Can you deconstruct? Do I do that up? Tear this one apart. Brazilian, all you gotta do is tear this wall open and run! Over here. Nice. Oh, not my elephant. Oh, fuck. Not the elephant, dude. I like this elephant. A lot of melee weapons there. Um, okay, Mr. Grinch and Space Roth, you run over here because you got our melee weapons. Razzy, go here. Oh, no, I meant like I meant I meant like this way. Fucking hell! Like, why are they so stupid? Like, why are they so stupid? Is there is there a reason? Why they're just like the AI in this game is so dumb. God only knows. Is this guy's fucked? <sighs> All right. All right. Yeah. All right. There we go. Uh, a little risky. So far, everyone's okay. Uh, Grizzlyn, get over here, because you're kind of... Because you're j literally just getting shot at by teammates. Like, that's it. Like, this is all just teammates being really stupid. Fuck, man. I don't understand why it's... Oh, Grizzlyn can walk again? Get up there and go rest. I don't understand, like, this shit. My god. Okay, you're not doing... How are all of you down? Dude, because you all shot each other. Like, that's it. That's all that happened. Like, fucking hell. My elephants are dying. What's this? Oh, okay, I see. That's cool. Yeah, look, we need a lot of things, game. Um... God, there's so many of them though. Yep, that happened. I mean, that's that's GG. I think that's the end. It's sad, but I think we can successfully say we tried. We, you know, we came, we saw. This was our tribal run. It's over. Like pretty much everyone's dead at this point. Why? Because the AI in this game is completely fucktarded when it comes to any sort of combat. Oh, hey, Ifraz, how you doing? Like, I don't. I just don't get it. I don't get why. If I tell the guy to go here, he's like, "Oh no, no, I'm gonna run this way." Sorry, you're gonna run the longer way. I know in his brain he thinks it's like faster because he doesn't have to go to the rocks, probably. But like, ultimately, no, that's stupid. And then like, they just literally like. They don't even try. They don't even try and shoot the target. They just turn and shoot right at each other. Sucks. 
Well, the thing is, Lavi, defense doesn't, I don't know, I don't think defense matters in RimWorld. Because you can build, like, sandbags and shit, but they just come through wherever the fuck they want, you know? Either you, you build this up and then they dig through. Okay, well, that sucks. What's my other option? You build a wall, okay, they break through your wall. Oh, okay, so I have to not do that. Um, or they just mortar you, you know what I mean? Like, like the, the, the RimWorld AI will always, like, do something to purposely fuck you over. So, it, I don't know. I don't really think there's a lot you can do aside from, like, just shoot them off and just pray that your guys don't kill your own guys, because they do. Like, they won't throw a grenade at the enemy, but they'll throw a grenade at the enemy who's already dead when your teammates walked by, even though, like, you haven't queued an attack for it. It sucks. Yeah, no, I, I get that, Lavi, but, like... Um, what the AI, like, the thing is, if, if you make this, like, for example, um, I, I've done it without traps, you know, you just have a hole, but like, they just come wherever they think is good, but then they come, I don't know, it feels like they beat on random slots, but again, like, you get sappers, if you actually do get a nice wall system, like, they'll just dig through like this. You get mortars that just, like, they set up a defensive spot, like, way over here. And then they just nuke your base from there, so you have to run out at them, which kind of sucks. You know what I mean? I don't know, I just find... I just find the game just shits on you, because your AI, like, like, there's a penalty for me. Like... If these guys shoot each other, they don't give a fuck. Like, there's, there's no penalty there. If they cause collateral damage, no penalty. But for me, there is. Like, every single time, you know? And the combat's not great in this. Like, if you get hit, like, you can't move at all. If you, if you get, like... Melee combat itself just bogs down in, like, this super slow, boring thing. But it's like, you have to have melee because guns are like too strong but then it's like that doesn't make any sense and i don't know man i don't like it good shot with sniper rifle well that's the other thing too so um if you're lucky to get people that do have high shooting which i do have a couple for example i have an 11 here uh like it's really unlikely they're gonna hit with any shots like my guys have terrible fucking accuracy um i wish i could click on eat my ferret I think it's because he got picked up here. I really want to show you his stats though, because he has like decent enough shooting. He can't hit a fucking thing ever. So. Yeah, it is what it is. I think it's good for tonight though, it's 6 a.m. I just like try and chill. It's, it's just, it's weird though. Like, I do think it's a good game, and I do enjoy it when. Like. It works, but I'm sure there's a lot of people that are going to defend it and say, like, oh, there's mods and, oh, like, you know, you can you can find a fix to any sort of situation you put yourself in, right? And blah, blah, blah. But you play Dwarf Fortress, you know? I, and that, that's a hard thing. Maybe I'd just been spoiled. But, like, there's other games like this where you never feel like you're being fucked. Like, I play a lot of roguelikes, you know? And, like, permadeath, I don't care. Like, whatever happens, I have a good time. Very rarely in a roguelike, though, in a good one, do you feel like you got fucked. You normally feel like you made a mistake. Do you know what I mean? Uh, and that, to me, is, is frustrating. When it feels like there's nothing you could do. Um... Like, again, our, our whole food situation was because the game threw two un, like events that you can't counter at me. Uh, so we had no food. And that's fine. You know, you can work around that. But it's like, if you do that, I don't have, like, what do you do? You know? Um, either way, like, I'll be back to RimWorld. I always come back. Um... And I have been getting a lot better, so I feel like eventually we're going to reach the point where 
like the combat i'm gonna understand something about it and it's gonna be good or i'm gonna get base defense down or i'm gonna figure out a way like within the first week to avoid the depression spiral by getting beauty to something i don't understand why beauty is such a major component of the game but yeah there's also too many people and that's uh that's another thing i personally don't like lavi um like i I hate being limited by population, um, even if it makes sense. Uh, so Oxygen Not Included is a game I really like. Um, it's made by Clay Interactive. Uh, it's just all, it's a lot of fun. It's well done. But um, you have to constantly limit the number of guys you have. In fact, I think five is normally the optimal number, which sucks because... You want to grow big and you want to have this huge sprawling colony but the problem is it just bogs down with more people and it's not like like there's no reason to do it you know it just makes the game harder and eventually it makes it impossible if you have too many guys and i know rimworld throws more and more stuff at you if you have more guys even though having more people makes the game harder like i don't see why you know I don't know. That's awesome, dude. That's awesome. I definitely, I like, I definitely need to get there. You know, it's just I'm not there yet. Obviously, you guys can tell that much. And we'll get there eventually, but it doesn't mean like I don't feel defeated and frustrated when the game just decides to shit on me for what I feel like. You know, I didn't have an answer to. But uh, that, that's what happens. Time and experience, right? Time and experience. We'll get there. We'll get there. It's just very cathartic to talk about it with y'all. So sorry if you guys feel like, oh my god, what an asshole. This guy is so mad. He's getting all mad. Let's get, a, let's get, let's get an angry picture. Go and show, show what uh, I obviously look like right now. Fucking. There we go. Beautiful. There, here we go. This is me right now. But but ultimately, like I'm I'm not that upset as much as I'm sort of a little frustrated and disappointed. But it is it's very very cathartic. Yeah, I feel like you know I'm not I'm not trying to say like oh my god I'm such a good person, <laughs> but I do feel like I uh, get mad or frustrated a little bit better. <laughs> I feel like I handle it okay. <laughs> But fuck me. Anyway, we got there. Happened. Um, might not do RimWorld tomorrow. Because normally what I like to do is when I hit a hit a roadblock, which I feel like we did tonight, uh, I just like to take a bit and sort of flush my brain, do a little bit of thinking. Might do some Dwarf Fortress or something like that. Or maybe just do some, like, you know, multiplayer shooting stuff. But uh, we'll be back to RimWorld sometime soon. Anyway, take it easy, guys. Y'all have a nice night, and I will see you tomorrow. Just not with RimWorld, probably.